Well, here he is, Father Christmas, also known as Santa Claus, Saint Nicholas, Saint Nick, Kris Kringle, or simply as Santa. He's a character originating in Western Christian culture who is said to bring gifts to the homes of well-behaved children on the night of Christmas Eve and coal to naughty kids. The modern character of Santa Claus is based on the real historical person of Saint Nicholas, who was known to give secret gifts to his people. Saint Nicholas was a 4th century Bishop of Myra, a place that's now located in modern-day Turkey. Hello everyone. That bearded bloke in the red suit you just saw was me. 35 years ago, can you believe? It was 1985 and I had been asked to play the part of Santa for the St. Vincent de Paul Society that year. Just a month before that picture was taken, I had made my last flight as a commercial pilot. I needed to file an IFR plan as the airport was fogged in. But as soon as I climbed above the fog, the air was clear and smooth with just a few light clouds to break up the blue sky. The engines were synchronized perfectly and they purred like a kitten. And the landing I made at my destination was as smooth as silk, even if I do say so myself. It was with some sadness that I shut down all the engines and unbuckled myself from the left seat for the last time. But things were changing for me in 1985. I'd been accepted as a candidate for the priesthood and in January I would be starting my studies at a seminary. I would exchange my old flight jacket and put on the last suit you'll ever wear. I would become. We're them. We're they. And who are they? We are the men in black. <laughs> or more accurately, we are the original men in black. <laughs> in a few weeks, I will have been ordained 30 years. And it has never been dull or boring. And I'm still wearing the same black suit. <laughs> Well, it does tend to make it easy to decide what to wear in the morning, doesn't it? <laughs> now, over the years, I've been to just about every country there is, but it has always been the people who made the places memorable. I've come to know people all across the world. And now that I'm retired, the number of people I encounter still grows. My flight simulator hobby has introduced me to a great many new people who share the same enthusiasm through this medium called YouTube. The flight simulator project started out as a hobby to combat any possibility of developing dementia, but it has opened up a window into a whole new world where I have encountered simmers from across the planet from China and Japan, and all across the Asian continent, from all over North and South America, from Australia and New Zealand, even from the tiny islands in the Pacific and from the mighty continent of Africa, and of course, from all over Western and Eastern Europe and even the Russian Federation. So to all of you, I say, thank you for enriching my life. Thank you for sharing your enthusiasm and excitement with me. Thank you for sharing your stories, your hopes and your dreams. I hope to have my simulator finished and fully functional in about a week or two. I'm about halfway through the project 
and the simulator is now all connected and functioning. It has been a bigger job than I thought and it has taken more time than I'd planned to turn the sim around and update all the flight software. I've added three large screens and a second computer to run them, which I've just started to program. It's slow, but I'm getting there. God has been good to me, so I want to share that with you. Now, I'm one of those who was always taught to share my toys. So, for those of you who live in or close to South Yorkshire, I am more than happy to let you take over the left seat and enjoy a day flying wherever you want. And to you younger sim pilots who have expressed a desire to fly this 737, no problem at all. But do bring along your dad to ride along in the right seat, okay? For those of you who live farther away but may be in the vicinity sometime, then let me know and I'll make arrangements for you. There'll be no charge and I'll even throw in some Yorkshire tea and posh biscuits. Beat that, Ryanair. I enjoy the simulator and I know others do too. By the way, including the local bishop here. So you will be in good company. I would like to wish each of you a wonderful Christmas. Perhaps Santa will find a way to bypass all the quarantine restrictions that are imposed on the rest of us and manage to fill your stockings with everything you wish for. Who knows? If anyone can find a way to break through any border closures or restrictions, I'm sure he can. In any event, do take time to be with your family this Christmas and rejoice in the goodness and hope this marvellous season of Christmas brings. Mele Kalikimaka, Bon Natale, Feliz Navidad, Joyo Noel, a very happy Christmas to you all. And as Tiny Tim put it, God blesses everyone. Happy Christmas. <laughs>